Twins Gate has fallen. With the doors to the duchy finally cast open, Sarah Noah and his companions commence their assault. Many as Frosty, however, refuse to bend to Hyzant's rule. They elect to fight for their freedom, even if it means death. As the final battle draws near, Gustadolf calls on his people to rise to action and defend home and hearth. My dearest as frosty subjects, Hyzant's forces have broken through Twinsgate and approached the city as we speak. But we will not surrender. This is a battle for justice, a fight to keep our freedom. We have suffered countless years because of the Holy State and their source, but no longer. That's right, they won't control us. Esfrost bows to no one. Brothers and sisters, lend me your strength. It is time to show the realm that our very souls were forged from iron. We must defend the freedom of all from the goddess's tyranny. For freedom! They won't take our home! For the glory of Esfrost! For the glory of Esfrost! <laughs> Don your arms and armor, and take your positions! The soldiers are ready for battle, and with the death smell on our side, those Hyzantian curs will not stand a chance. The only piece missing is Svalrog. Might I sit here for a bit? If you don't mind the company of this old maid, you're more than welcome. Well now, shall we have ourselves a little chat to pass the time? By all means. I would like nothing more than to hear of your exploits in the Salt Iron War. I have read much of your surpassing prowess on the battlefield, but would be honored to learn more in your own words. Oh, child. That was so many, many years ago. How many enemies did I fell on the battlefield? I long since lost count. They say my very name was feared throughout the land. You and others may call them exploits. The truth is, I was nothing more than a skilled dealer of death. You sound as if you regret it. Against fellow soldiers and warriors like myself, no, that is simply the way of war. But my acts also brought suffering to those who did not deserve it. The Roselle, for example. The Roselle? How so? I was leading a siege on the citadel of the Sands in Hyzant, not far from the source. The Hyzantian commander was a worthy foe. The battle drew on, and we were losing men and resources with little to show for it. Seeking to end the battle quickly, I chose to raise the fort with wildfire, and so it fell. All too late did I learn that its jails were filled with Roselle, captured slaves who had fled servitude at the lake. But you did not know they were there. You can hardly blame yourself for their fate. Do you think the Roselle who roasted to death would say the same? What of their families? You cannot forgive yourself for this, even so many years later. 
And why should I? Because my countrymen sing of me as a hero? To this day, visions of charred bodies lying in the rubble haunt me. Lumps of burnt flesh that were once men and women who wished only for their freedom. At first, I tried to forget. But the weight of my sins was too heavy to bear. And so I abandoned everything and left my home behind. Fortunately, I had already trained a protege to follow in my place. And ever since then, you've wandered the realm alone? Yes. But no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape my regrets. And now, Norzelia finds itself embroiled in another bloody struggle. The horrors of the past come anew. If fighting is all I am good for, then the least I can do is fight for peace. It may not atone for the death and suffering I have wrought, but at least it may save others from the same fate. I... I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you relive such painful memories. <laughs> Worry not, lass. Truth be told, it's something I've been hoping to get off my chest for a while now. But this old maid's rambled on long enough, I reckon. Thank you for the company, child. That you would return to us hale and whole. Tis a much needed fortune in these trying times. With luck, soon my return will not be the only cause for celebration. I am glad to see you unharmed, Huet. I would choose none but you to stand by Prince Roland's side in my absence. Thank you. However, I am afraid I have far to go before I can measure up to your legend. A legend that seems to have begun a new chapter, now that you have doffed that mask of yours. Forgive me for prying, but I must ask, why did you wear it for so long? Truth be told, I have not thought upon those reasons for some time. When I served Glenbrook as its Master of Swords, I did not wear it. You were Master of Swords? The Dawnspear? Indeed. My star was rising, and I was tasked with investigating a group of nobles who were dealing in stolen works of art. A simple assignment, or so I thought. I was yet young and unaware of the pettiness of those who consider themselves to be our betters. I apprehended several of the criminals, but one escaped. That was my grave mistake. In shadows, they harbored their grudges until they exacted their revenge. But the life they took was not mine. It was my love's, the woman to whom I had promised my future. What? I never knew. The villain was eventually brought to justice, but no sentence could bring back what had been stolen from me. Had I only been more thorough and not been so naive, then she... She would still be. Sir Maxwell, there is no way you could have known. The blame falls not on you. Nay, my inexperience sowed the seeds, and I will reap their bitter fruit until the day I die. I swore I would never again allow someone I loved to come to harm. To ensure that, I had to discard who I was. I gave up my title as Master of Swords, hid my true face behind a mask. I spoke only with my spear. And you were reborn as Glenbrook's fiercest warrior, the Dawn Spear. Your feet surpassed the imagination of even the most silver-tongued of bards. <sighs> Forgive me. I still tend to get lost in the stories, even though you are standing here before me. No, I should thank you. There are few who would understand my struggles, but I believe you are one. House Wolfort has seen its share of misfortunes. That you all still walk with your heads held high is an inspiration to all. 
I was brought back from the brink of death to fight by your side, to face the dangers ahead undaunted and unhidden. I may owe fate for my return, but I shall fight tooth and nail before it takes aught from me again. At least such are the things I tell myself in my quiet moments. I only pray the words can give me strength when it matters most. They will. No doubt you are stronger now than you have ever been. Thank you. I no longer need to hide in fear. I will not look away. I thought you might be leading the charge, Warford. But where is my dear sister Frederica? I suppose she was too stubborn to bend the knee to Hyzant. <sighs> Surrender, Gustadolf. We have the city surrounded. Surrender? <laughs> Tell me the truth, Roland. You wish to kill me, don't you? You wish to avenge your father and brother. No. We will spare your life if you surrender. We came here to bring peace to Norzelia. If we can accomplish that, my personal grudges won't matter. You certainly have nerve for a coward who sold his kingdom and people to Hyzant. Do you truly believe that your false goddess can bring peace to our realm? I do. The path we walked stained with blood. But today we will put an end to all of it. You are a fool if you think people would rejoice over such hollow peace. I know for certain the people of Esfrost would not. Exactly! We will never surrender to you! I would rather die than have my freedom taken by the Goddess! Don't you dare underestimate the people of Esfrost, you Hyzantian dogs! Can you hear them, Roland? The voices of the people? Alas, you cannot, can you? For you have forsaken your duty as king to prostrate yourself at the Goddess's feet! Enough! I chose the happiness of the many over my own crown and country. Under your ideals of freedom, only the strong survive, Gustadolf. The divide between the weak and the powerful is the perfect breeding ground for further strife. And you think being controlled by the Goddess is any better? Minister Roland, it seems he can't be reasoned with. If he won't surrender, we must take Esfrost by force. The people are sure to have a change of heart once they see their leader defeated. As frosty souls are forged in iron, if you think you can pierce it, then come! Swarm, Serenoa! This is where we make our last stand! Our enemies are not but weak-hearted fools who need a goddess to tell them how to live their lives. But our ironclad wheels are strong, strong enough to carry all of Norcelia upon our backs. When we march into battle, we shall trample their goddess underfoot for the glory of Esfrost! Yeah! I admit, his skill as a politician is praiseworthy, but morale alone will not win the fight. Father, brother, I will bring peace to the realm, I swear it. We know better than anyone not to underestimate those with nowhere to go. We 
break the cycle of war here and now. I shall try my level. We make it up here. Your orders? The Dawn Spear. All by my design. my shield. shall prevail. Make the most of it. Our victory is assured. I shall try my level best. It is time for strike. Appreciate it. Frost to glory. Ha <laughs> 
now what? Take this, you poor thing. Now then. Yeah. That must have hurt. Curses. Where are we here? Shall we begin? Ha. I won't lose! I will go through if I must! For my kingdom! I shall protect you. With a single blow! I won't miss! You'll get no mercy from us! I've been waiting for this! Look at me, learn. I shall do what I can. Victory goes to the quick. One step closer to our home. I shall try my level best. This is our Much chance. appreciated. I shall show you. What it means to be Archduke. Your most hated foe stands before you, and you will be bowing down to him before long. Die with dignity. Damn it! Sorry to worry you. Choices, choices.
I shall show you what it means to be Archduke. Time to take flight. My arrow flies true. You'll get no victory is ours. I see a path to victory. Reverse our fortunes. Cool heads shall prevail. For one and all. My apologies. I've been waiting for this. Show you what it means to be armed. Meet my no! challenge. Shall I? Ah! Another. <laughs> now what to do? Wasted effort. I see a path to victory. Sloppy! My knowledge grows deeper. Here I come. Focus. This battle is another.
Shall we begin? I'm behind you. Tides are turning. Your orders? Victory is in reach. It's only a flesh wound. Show me what you're made of. A wasted effort. I shall be Estrost to glow. You are not worthy of my time. Shall we dance? Prepare yourself. I won't lose! Brace yourself! Curses! Now I end this! Together! On my honor as the Dawn Spear. You can't save yourself! I see right through you. I see a path to victory. This will serve well. You won't fool me. This battle is ours. My arrow flies true. Take that! Victory is ours! I will end this. This will hurt. I shall show you what it means Let to me be heal Archduke. Your wounds. Go quick. Your judgment is sound. Yeah. I'll show you what I'm made of. Out of my way. Choices. Choices. Think you can catch me? Ha! Now then. You are not worthy of my time. This was destined to occur. I shall try my level best. All for victory. I won't lose. This is it. Life has no joy in an easy victory. Because life has no joy in an easy victory. If you wish to meet your meet my ah! challenge on my honor as the Dawn Spear. My disciple was forced to walk a perilous path because of you, and for that you will pay dearly. Still alive, I see. Allow me to remind you who was the victor of our last bout. 
Try as you might, no one bests the Dawn Spear twice. You can't save yourself. Enjoy! I love the battle. Shall I? We elders were wrong for overlooking the mistakes of the young. But the time to atone for that has come. Leave this place, Groma. The battlefield is best left to young soldiers like the rest. Ah! If you wish to meet your end, then so be it. I see a path to victory. Reverse our fortunes. You are not worthy of my time. Your yeah. life blood shall paint my soul. I won't lose. Brace yourself. Letting you slip through my fingers that day has proven to be a costly mistake. I had not anticipated the sniveling second prince to grow from the defended to the defender. With you gone, the three nations will finally see peace. And I will not rest until that dream is a reality. I have come here not as royalty, but someone who wishes for a world without war. I cannot... Your orders? Suffer. <gasps> I feel stronger already. I shan't hold back. With a single blow! to these spineless curs. Cool heads shall prevail. My dear brother-in-law to be, where has my sister gone? She has her own path to follow. As do I. Such sugar-coated words cannot conceal the truth. She refused to walk your path, and you abandoned her, didn't you? Enough, Gustadolf. You speak of things you do not understand. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. This will help. My growth is plain to see. Ah, Gina. So you abandoned my sister to stay with House Wolfwood. You see people only as pawns. You have no idea what it took for us to get here. There is no mercy on the battlefield.
The hunt is on. Gustadov, you will pay for what you did to the Kingsguard that day. So the lone survivor still lives. Perhaps you can find solace in knowing those pitiful soldiers died a quick and painless death. You bastard. I will have my revenge yet. Goodbye! I lost. The glory of Esfrost is no more. Citizens of Esfrost, look upon your Archduke. He has fallen. The battle is over. Cease your fighting and lay down your arms. No! Archduke Gustadolf! We lost! We will do as you ask, but in exchange... We have no intention of using violence. You have my word. After all, we came here to put an end to these pointless fights. <laughs> you think this ends here? People will always crave freedom and chase after their heart's desire. When these desires clash, fighting is inevitable. Such is the nature of humans. Cheap ideals and false teachings cannot suppress that. In time, seeds of dissent will begin to sprout. That is not for you to decide. People can change. Yet another lie. I can see the hatred burning in your eyes when you look at me. Oh, you wish to kill me, don't you? You needn't suppress your heart's desire. You are the victor. You are free to choose. Kill me, Roland Glenbrook! This is the end for me, and thus your last chance to see your desire fulfilled! <sighs> I did not come here for revenge, but for peace. <laughs> So this is where I am defeated. Just know that when your resolve wavers, you will remember me and this moment. Farewell, Gustadolf. Benedict, please see that the town is under control and as peaceably as possible. As you command, for better or worse, Esfrost was ruled by Gustadov. If we let the people know of his demise, they will likely lay down their arms. What was that sound? Not moments after Gustadolf's death, a thundering boom resounds through the city. The duchy's blast furnace has been destroyed, spewing destruction into the air. And so it is. The once proud nation of Esfrost is swallowed by its glorious iron and fire, never to rise again. Our 
city. We have to go. It's too dangerous to stay. What happened here? This is melted iron. It's flowing from the castle. Esfrost's ironworks and Norzelia's largest blast furnace are in the castle. The furnace must have been badly damaged. Damaged? But how? Benedict, could that sound have been... Indeed, the blast from the Nell. Someone must have used it to destroy the furnace. But who would do such a thing? And why? Look, there's someone in the castle! That's Swarok! Could this be his doing? If his aim is to take us down, the town may just be collateral. There is a chance he will target us directly next. Would he really sacrifice his own people for the sake of victory? Minister Saranoa, I will evacuate the citizens. You and House Wolford must put an end to Svarog's madness. I leave the people to you. To the castle, everyone! Lord Svarog, what happened here? I used the Nell to destroy the Blast Furnace. But why? The answer is right before your eyes. I did so to put an end to Esfrost. There is no more befitting end to our great nation than being buried beneath mountains of iron and snow. These are your people. Your own home you're burning down. Have you gone mad, Svarog? Far from it. Which is more than I can say for the man who sold away his kingdom to some false deity. You misunderstand. We did what we did to usher in a new era. Enough of your meaningless words. I care not what your intentions were. Everyone who had dreams for the future is dead now. Dragan, Gustadolf, Thalys, Erika. I am all that remains, and I haven't the time nor the strength to inherit the dreams of the youth. Svarog. But I must do what I can while I still draw breath. So, for those who died with regrets, I will close the curtain on this chapter of Esfrost's history. I will drown this land in melted iron and reduce it to ashes. I give you nothing. All of Nordzelia will know that the Iron Heart of Esfrost yielded to no one! The despair has driven you mad, Svarog! No! Despair will never take hold of me, and neither will your false goddess! The Nell has the city in its sights. You had best keep your distance. I won't allow any more harm to befall the people. I will cut you down here and now. If you dare interfere, then you will die with them! Lord Svarog, we could have been allies, friends. There are things I too hold dear, Minister Serenoa. Things you couldn't possibly understand. I must defend the glory of Esfrost. Together, all shall sink into the embers. Let us pry out their weakness.
he may get up here. My knowledge grows deeper. I will end this. Dance. Think you can catch me? Delectable. I'll handle this. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Look carefully. me to victory I see right through you shall we begin be at ease my thanks I see a path to victory. All for victory. I shall do my best. I can't lose. I envy your father, Minister Serenoa. His son lives on to carry out his legacy. What would Lord Dragan think of this if he were still alive? Why would you bring ruin upon yourself like this? The goddess's history will dishonor Esfrost and falsify the path we walked. I would rather end it all here by my own hand than endure her lies. Why don't you understand that this is a beginning and not an end? My turn.
take this. Shall we dance? Allow me. You will not strike me. I mustn't give up hope. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. You can't Just save yourself. You. For victory! Here I come. Hey! There is no mercy on the battle. Stay Ready for more! Come at me! House Wolfort won't lose! Cool heads shall prevail. Victory goes to the quick. Uh. I can't lose! Right through you. Time to work. That hurts, don't it? Look at me learning. Die already! It's for life. Here goes. Come in handy. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. Here. You have my thanks. My turn. You don't stand a chance. I cannot give up. Take yes. this. This will do. I can't lose. I see a path to victory. for victory. This battle is ours. Focus. I will fight to my last breath.
Nice try. Cool heads shall prevail. This is what I do. My utmost thanks. My growth is plain to see. I've been waiting for this. I will end this. This will hurt. You will escape. I can't lose. Today, both you and Esfrost will fall. My fury rages. I shall protect you. There is life in these old bones There yet. is no mercy on the battlefield. This battle is ours. My arrow flies through. Follow my lead. My lord! Hey! Curses! your wounds. again someday. It cannot end here. I must win, no matter the cost. You'll need more than that. There I'll is bring no you down. mercy. I have your back. One. 
my knowledge grows deeper. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. All by my design, this shall do. It ends! <laughs> that went well. Let's play. Like a butterfly. It's not over. You haven't bested me yet. are fatal, Svarog. Struggling will only hasten your demise. I am not yet beaten. There is still fight left in my soul. Lend me your strength, Dragan. Why would you go so far? The future is in the hands of the ardent youth. Those words. They were Lord Dragan's. Yes. He himself was an ardent youth. He dreamed of a new era, not just for Esfrost, but all of Norzelia. He was a man of great ambitions. One who would have never wanted to see destruction like this. I know the type of man Dragan was. He was my one and only son, after all. He was a brilliant boy. My pride and joy. But in the end, I was powerless to help him. Gustadolf is dead. I cannot even avenge him. I'm so sorry, my boy. My dear Dragan. Please, forgive me. Powerful a father's love for his son is. What Svarog did here is unforgivable. And yet, I must admit, I am a little jealous of Lord Dragan. As am I. My lord, the battle is won. It is now time we see to the people and damages. Indeed. If we split up, we can cover more ground. Svarog, if you see Lord Dragan, please tell him something for me. Tell him that the salt crystals are in good hands now, and that his will is paving the way to a new era. The melted iron has stopped flowing, but... Still, the town is in shambles. Yes, but it would have been worse had Svarog fired the death snell on the town itself. Are you unharmed, Minister Saranoa? I am fine. And yourself? Safe and sound. There's frosty citizens and soldiers are being seen to by our Hysantian forces. I cannot thank you enough. It appears we managed to avoid the worst. What of Svarog? He has been defeated. Then this is far from the worst. I dare say it may even be the best for us. If we expose Svarog to be the one behind all this destruction, we should be able to shake the people's solidarity. Not to mention the archives burnt down and all the commotion, saving us the trouble of dealing with it ourselves. The archives? What are you talking about? You 
in truth, I had a secret assignment from the Holy One to dispose of the place. But why? The archives contain annals of Norzelia's knowledge. And that is precisely why. Knowledge stimulates greed. It would only be an obstacle to the Goddess's teachings. So you mean to put knowledge only in the hands of the leaders? I wouldn't say that. But I heard the death snell in S. Frost's possession was created using knowledge from that very library. I believe the Holy One means for knowledge like that to be controlled. <sighs> Certainly if there are other records like Orlea's diary, people may begin to doubt the Goddess's teachings. Exactly. And had we openly set fire to the Archives, we would be faced with a powerful backlash from the people. Which is why we were fortunate to have Svarog do it, however unintentionally. Merging with Esfrost will be even easier than we thought. Our repute raised, we can now bring peace and stability to Norzelia. Just as we had hoped. Indeed. This is the path we chose to walk. Yes. To bring peace and equality to all Norzelia. Serenua Wolford, reporting in. Rowan Glenbrook, reporting in as well. Those robes suit you two very well. Indeed. Almost as if you were born to be saints. We have been waiting for you. You have sacrificed much in the fight to unify Norzelia. Now the Holy One wishes to honor you both with titles and responsibilities befitting your great deeds. Saranoa Wolfort, you are to be Glenbrook's counsel. Understood. And you, Roland Glenbrook, you are to be the Minister of Salt, in charge of inspecting both the source and the mines. A position I take with honor. Our three nations are now one. A new age of harmony, unified under the goddess. As the saintly seven, it falls to us to guide the people and show them our unwavering faith in the Hierophant, the goddess, and the teachings. And we shall, for the new age of Norzelia. May the goddess be with us. So it is that Norzelia is united under the rule of the holy state of Hyzant. Soon the teachings of the goddess spread all across the land. Any who rebel or reject the teachings are taken prisoner and forced to labor at the source or in the mines alongside the long-suffering Roselle. But in exchange for their freedom and faith, the goddess's believers enjoy peace and salt aplenty. Those who walk her path know happiness like never before. They offer daily prayers of gratitude to her for their full bellies, safe streets, and an era of calm that has come at long last. A calm that comes to be known as the Goddess's Blessing. I barely recognize this place anymore. 
It truly has changed, hasn't it? There are statues of the goddess throughout the town now. And relics of the old kingdom are being torn down, one after the other. I miss it too, my friend. You needn't console me. This is all proof of the new era. We live in an age of peace now, thanks to the goddess. This is the world I dreamed of. The world we dreamed of. You did not walk your path alone. <laughs> no, I didn't. As the ones who shaped this world, we now have a duty to defend it. I hope I can still count on you like always, old friend. Likewise. Well, it's about time I head back to Hyzant. Allow me to see you off, at least. Don't worry about me, Saranoa. I know you have your own business to attend to at the castle. Very well. I will see you again soon, Roland. Oh? Dear Goddess of Salt, thank you for blessing me and my little sister again today. Thank you. Mother, Father, can you hear us? We're happy again, thanks to the Goddess. Yeah, we get to eat every day, and everyone is so nice. So you don't need to worry about us. Just watch over us with the Goddess, okay? So they're orphans. But they are still living peaceful lives. I wasn't wrong to choose this path, even though the royal family of Glenbrook is no more. Everyone lives with a smile on their faces. And that's more than enough for me. Come on, big bro, let's go! Miss Gila. Hello there. How are you doing today? We're doing just fine as always. Mm-hmm. We got all the salt we need here. Life's never been better. We couldn't be happier with House Wolford, to tell the truth. It pleases me to hear you say so. If there's ever anything you need, simply say the word. Of course. By the way, did you hear about that odd sect? You mean the nun going around spouting all that nonsense? What was it again? The teachings of Centralia? Ugh. That's the one. I heard she's been talking about an endless salt mirror, claiming it to be part of Norzelia's true history. Yeah, she's telling anyone who'll listen. Truth be told, I saw her the other day. Oh, really? What was she like? Well... She didn't have any hair, but she was still a beauty. She even had several ardent followers with her. If she created her own religion, doesn't that mean she rejects the goddess's teachings? Should we tell House Wolford? There's no need for that. No sane person would believe that madness anyway. When I passed by, everyone around threw rocks to chase her away. But you said she had followers, which means there are still people who think that nonsense is true. Haha, <laughs> you worry too much. No matter what happens, the goddess will always protect us. So you haven't given up the fight for the Roselle. You stayed true to yourself and never stopped listening to your heart. 